Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. I hope everybody's feeling well. I hope you're feeling happy and healthy. And if you live in the US, I hope you're staying warm. I know many places are having snowstorms. I think we might have some snow coming next week. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, today we're going to be opening a winter theme box. We're going to be opening up Sam's bead box for the month of December. And I know it's filled with all kinds of winter themed beads and colors. And you know how I feel about Sam's bead box. I've never been disappointed. I've loved every single one of their boxes. Now, if you're not familiar with Sam's bead box, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. Sam's bead box is a premium curated monthly subscription bead box. It's put together by Sam and his sister who take great care and time picking out the palettes and the themes for each month. Their goal is to bring joy and inspiration while offering a selection of high quality items. They specialize in Czech glass but they also include high quality metals such as Tiracast and who doesn't like Tiracast and they also offer at least three gemstone selections each month. But anyway guys if you do decide to subscribe I recommend you join their Facebook group Gem Chat. It's a wonderful place to get to see what others in the Sam's Bead Shop community are making. They always do at least one Friday class featuring that month's box. You can catch those videos on their Facebook group page as well as their YouTube channel. I'll link that down below as well. So anyway guys, boxes sell for $45 per month. If you do decide to sign up, please use coupon code MISTY to get a $5 discount off your first box. And like I said, I'll leave a link down below. Now before we get started, let me remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because it really does help my channel and it helps me as a content creator to stay motivated to create more videos for you. I know many of you have subscribed already but I know many of you haven't because I know a lot of you are new. And if you're new, just know that today we're going to be doing an unboxing but I'll also post a tutorial in the future, in the near future, either next week or the following week. So anyway guys, I'm very anxious to see what's in this box so let's go ahead, turn the camera around and we'll get started. And here we have Sam's bead box for the month of December 2022. The name of the box is Winter Ball. Let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's take a look at the insert. It says, Welcome to our Winter Ball. We're so glad you accepted our invitation. The theme of our evening is winter elegance with a palette of icy crystal, capri blue and gold. I'm glad you dressed warm because we're keeping the ballroom cool so our ice sculptures don't melt. Look up and you'll see crystal quartz points and strands of lusted hex seed beads hanging from the chandeliers. Each table is decorated with appetite centerpieces, our featured gem of the evening. Well, how delightful is that? Further down it says for this month's box we custom designed 14 different Czech glass beads to bring our wintry theme to life including fire polished drops and leaves in crystal AB. For our focals we chose owls, a snowflake cabochon with a bale to match and Zuni bears which are associated with healing in Native American Zuni culture. And at the bottom it says I can't wait to see the sparkling designs you make with this month's theme. As always I hope you'll share your finished pieces in our gem chat group on Facebook with the hashtag Sam Speedbox December 2022. Wishing everyone a wonderful holiday season. Well isn't that a beautiful message? And I got some really beautiful visuals of that ballroom with all the beads and quartz hanging down. So anyway guys I can't wait to see what's in this box. On this side it shows all the contents as you can see and there are 24 items in this box. So let's go ahead and take a look. And of course we have the candy which I absolutely love. It's so nice of Sam and Rachel to include candy. Take a look. And here's a lovely bag filled, absolutely filled with gorgeous beads. Let's open it up. And what a beautiful palette. I see a lot of AB glass and I see lots of blue and gold as well. Let me go ahead and organize these beads and we'll go through each item. And here we have the first five items. And I'm definitely getting a wintry vibe with all of these gorgeous colors. I love the blue and the white and the clear. And of course I love the AB finishes and this cabochon is absolutely stunning. Let's take a look at it. Look how pretty this cabochon is. It has a gorgeous snowflake design on the surface as you can see. But the AB finish on this cabochon is out of this world. The description says that it's etched crystal and it measures 20.5 millimeters. Let me show you the back. There's the back. So this would be perfect for bead weaving or wire work. I'm going to have to think about it. And it's going to make a gorgeous focal. Stunning. And we have these quartz points. As you can see there are three of them. The description says they're double headed points and they measure 8 by 31 millimeters. 
and I think they are drilled let me see yes they are as you can see there's a hole right there so that's nice I love quartz and I hear that it has healing properties for those of you who believe in it but if I were to choose a gemstone for winter this would be the one that I would choose these are absolutely gorgeous and here we have these beautiful check rounds they're five polished faceted rounds and the color is golden capri they measure four millimeters in size let me put some on this dish I like to put them on a white background so you can see the color better as you can see they're a gorgeous blue color and there's a little bit of plating on one side of the bead and these measure four millimeters in size and we get 8.5 grams which is approximately a hundred pieces so that's quite a few let me put them on a rod and here are some of them on my rod aren't these beautiful I love this gorgeous capri color it's such a rich blue and it reminds me of the waters of a lake every time I see this color that's what it reminds me of and I think that gold plating is really pretty I know I'm going to use these somehow and let's take a look at these these are very interesting looking I'll go ahead and thread them on my rod so you can see what they look like and aren't these unique looking guys these are so unique as you can see some of the bead is clear and some of it is opaque and it has a gorgeous golden scrolly design all the way around it even has it on the sides look at that these are so pretty these are called check glass royal diamond beads they measure 10 by 19 millimeters and the color is crystal white silk gold I can totally see these on a strand but they would look just as gorgeous on a bracelet as well very pretty I love these and let's take a look at this strand these are faceted drops and the color is Capri gold crystal AB they measure 5.5 by 8 millimeters and we get 24 pieces and as you can see some of them are crystal colored and some of them are in that beautiful capri gold color the same color as these beads so they're going to coordinate perfectly it always amazes me how sam and rachel curate their boxes it's not easy to get things to match but these are a perfect match i love them and look at these pretty beads i absolutely love this strand it's so unique looking let's take a look at it these are called ornate rectangle beads and as you can see there are two colors here capri and crystal with a gold wash they measure 11 by 22 millimeters and there are 10 pieces here this is such a beautiful bead guys I've never seen a bead like this I love that design with the gold wash and of course because they're clear and capri colored they're going to coordinate with those beads I just showed you I'm definitely seeing a bracelet with these they're so pretty we have some rondelle spacer beads here I know we've had them before in previous boxes but these are actually pretty small let me put them on a rod and show you and here are some of them on my rod these measure two by four millimeters in size and we get 75 pieces and this color is gold decadence which I think we've had before in a previous box I'm not sure if it was the November box or the October box but I remember that color so you can stack them like this in a design or you can use them separately I like to use these in beaded components that's my favorite thing to do but we get quite a few of them we get 75 pieces so that's enough to make all kinds of things and here we have some seed beads and these are toho seed beads as you can see but these are actually hex beads which i absolutely love using i've used these before in the past and i love this color it's called crystal luster and it's such a pretty color for these kind of beads hex beads really reflect a lot of light because of the shape they have the six sides so they really reflect a lot so between the sides and the color of these beads and the finish these are going to look absolutely stunning in any kind of design obviously these are popular in bead weaving designs and maybe i can use them on that cabochon i'm not sure i'll have to think about it but anyway the size is size 11 o and that's a very common size for hex beads very pretty and look at these cute zuni bears aren't these adorable they're so cute the color is rustic golden picasso and they measure 12.5 millimeters by 18 millimeters and let me show you how they're drilled wouldn't these make cute earrings whatever you do with them they should probably hang like this whether it's a pair of earrings or on a necklace and that finishes all the way around as you can see very unusual and definitely very rustic i love them and look at these gorgeous leaf beads guys look at the gorgeous ab finish on these leaf beads 
Let me thread them on a rod and show you. And here they are. As you can see, they're drilled across the top. Aren't these pretty? Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I'm gonna have to think about what to do with these. But I don't know if you guys can see that AB finish. I don't think the camera is able to show just how beautiful that AB finish is. But anyway, in addition to the finish, the leaves have a beautiful veining design on the surface. Let me see the other side. There's the other side. So it's on both sides. And they're calling these eucalyptus leaves. They measure six by 12 millimeters and we get 20 pieces. Very nice. And here's some more unique looking beads. And we also have some beautiful gemstones. This strand and this one here are both appetite. The one that has me intrigued though is this bead right here. It's so unique looking. They're called lacy drop beads. And I don't know why they're called lacy drops because they really don't look like lace. Let me put them on a dish and show you. To me, they look more like stitching, but nevertheless, they're very unique looking and I love the color. They measure 12 by 17 millimeters and we get four of them as you can see. And they're the same on both sides. Let me go ahead and put them on a rod. And here they are threaded on. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm still trying to figure out why they're called lacy beads. I know it has something to do with that design on the edges. But anyway, the glass is capri blue and the wash is gold. And as you can see, they're drilled straight down the middle. So you could probably hang them like this. These would actually make really pretty earrings. Let's take a look at these now. I love that these are clear. They definitely remind me of ice cubes. Here are six of them on the rod. There's more down there. We get a total of 10. And these are very interesting looking because if you look close, there's a little circle on the faceting. I'm trying to see if it's on all sides and I think it is. I'm not sure if you can see that circle. The name on the description is polka dot faceted rounds. And as you can see, the crystal is completely clear and they measure nine millimeters in size, which is unusual because usually they're either eight or 10 millimeters, but the size is just fine. I love this size. I'm gonna have to think about what to do with them. Let's take a look at this one now. This one is a beautiful gemstone. It's appetite and it's a grade B. I'm not familiar with the grading of gemstones, but I think anything that's A or B is considered good. It measures 25 millimeters across and it's in a square shape as you can see. The edges are kind of tapered a little bit. They're not squared off. Let me show you how it's drilled. It's drilled straight down the middle as you can see. Very nice. I love the detail in this gemstone. It's really pretty and I love the color. Now this one's also Appetite, but it's a little bit different color. It's a little bit brighter, I would say, although I'm seeing some of that same color in some of the beads. For example, this one right here has the same colors as in this gemstone down there. So you could potentially use these on the strand and then use that as a focal. And I love the beautiful faceting of these beads. The description says they're hand cut faceted Appetite rounds and they measure eight millimeters. And this is a seven and a half inch strand. So there are plenty of beads here to play with. Very nice. And here we have some pinch beads, which I love using. I think we had pinch beads in the November box, but they were in a different color. Let me go ahead and thread some on my rod. And here are some of them. As you can see, they're in a gold color and they have the gold all the way around. The name of that color is actually Old Gold and they measure four by 5.5 millimeters. And we get a total of 80 pieces. And this gold is gonna look absolutely gorgeous with a capri blue, especially the ones that have a little bit of gold plating. They're gonna coordinate so nicely with those. But I can also see them with these Appetite gemstones. I'm already getting visions of a necklace using these on the strand in between the Appetite beads. I think that would look really nice. And here are some more lovely beads. I love these two owls. They're so adorable. And I love these flowers as well. They look like they have the same AB finish as the eucalyptus leaves that I showed you. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. If I use them, I'm gonna use them with those leaves. Let's take a look at these gorgeous owls. Aren't these pretty guys? They're so adorable. And I'm not sure if you can see the color of the glass. Hopefully you can see it up against the white background, but the glass is actually capri blue and the design has a gold wash. Let me show you the back. They're the same on the back. It's really hard to see that they are blue. Hopefully you can see it now. They are definitely transparent. And if you take these outside in the sunlight, you'll be able to see it better. I love them. 
Let me put them on a rod. As you can see, they're drilled down the middle. So these would definitely make gorgeous earrings. I'm not sure if that's what I'll do, but that's an idea. And these owls measure 15 by 18 millimeters. I really do love owls. And I'm not just talking about beads. Whenever I go to Washington State to visit my son, I always see owls up in the trees. We don't get as many here in Virginia, but once in a while I'll catch a glimpse of a big wingspan and they're so silent when they fly, but I'll catch one flying from one tree to another. And of course, usually it's at nighttime. So anyway, I love owls, I really do. And I love owl beads. Let me thread some of these flowers on my rods. I think we had flowers in the previous box and I'm not sure if they were the exact same kind, but in a different color. I know I used them on a necklace with a beautiful bird bead. I don't know if you guys got to see my tutorial for that necklace. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But anyways, you can see they have the AB finish on one side only and on the other side they're clear. But it really doesn't matter because it still shows through, as you can see. These measure 12 millimeters and we get a total of eight. And once again, that AB finish is so beautiful. I literally can see at least six different colors. In fact, this one's orange, this one's green, this one's yellow, this one's purple, and this one's more pink. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. They're so beautiful. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at these now. I've seen these in the previous box as well. I don't recall which one, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them maybe in a different color. These are called Czech Glass Lacy Coin Beads, and we get a total of eight. And as you can see, they're crystal with a gold wash and they measure 13.5 millimeters. And they're kind of puffy coins, I would say. They're not flat, very nice. Let me put them on a rod. Here are some of them. And I love this month's theme with the crystal and the gold wash. It's so beautiful and so luxurious looking. And these beads have a very pretty design, as you can see. And the design does look like lace to me. And as far as the thickness, I would say they're probably somewhere around maybe seven millimeters thick at the thickest part, but I absolutely love these. Let's take a look at these now. These are faceted rounds, as you can see. They measure 10 millimeters and the color of the glass is Capri with a little bit of golden plating on one side. The plating isn't all the way around the bead, but it's a very dark gold color. But anyway, we get a total of 15 pieces, so that's very generous. But I think my favorite thing about these beads is the faceting. They're so pretty. And here they are threaded on my rod. As you can see, they're very sparkly because of the faceting and the plating. And of course, the color is very rich and beautiful. I think you can see it better up against the white background. But again, if you take these outside in the sunlight, you'll definitely see that beautiful blue. Stunning beads. And these are very interesting looking. I love the shape of these. As you can see, they're elongated ovals. They're actually called table cut ovals and the color is dark aqua. They measure eight by 20 millimeters and there's a total of four in this set. And I'm trying to see if there's any plating on the edges. And I think there is. It's very faint, but it's there. It's kind of like a bronzy color on the edges. Let me put them on a rod. And here they are threaded on. And these measure eight by 20 millimeters. And I think they're about four millimeters thick, maybe a little bit less, at least that's what it looks like. But I love that beautiful table cut. I love that it's so smooth and shiny. I can see using these on a strand somehow. I'm gonna have to think about it. And let's take a look at this strand. These are your traditional fire polish rounds. They're faceted and they're clear, but they have a beautiful AB finish. They measure four millimeters and we get a total of 50 pieces in the strand. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that AB finish is as I turn the strand. They're absolutely stunning. I love them. And here are the last few items. These are the TerraCast components. Sam's Speedbox always includes TerraCast, which I absolutely love. And I love TerraCast because it's lead free and it's made in the USA and it's usually very good quality. Another thing I like about the TerraCast components is that they're substantial, they're not lightweight. Let's take a look at this button. This is such a pretty design, guys. It's called a mandala button. It measures 17 millimeters. Let me show you the back. This would look gorgeous on a bracelet. I haven't made a bracelet with a button clasp in a while, so maybe I should think about making one. I have to see. I love these two here. These are so unique looking. These are called Celtic braids and they measure 5.5 by 25 millimeters, so they're pretty long. 
These would make a great pair of earrings, obviously, but I guess you could use them on a necklace design as well. Very nice. And let's take a look at this one. This is a bale, as you can see, and it's in the shape of a heart. And there's the hole. So you could definitely put leather cord through that. It measures 9.5 by 19 millimeters. And of course, these are designed to be glued onto gemstones or cabochons. You would put the glue on that surface. I'm thinking maybe that square appetite focal, but I'll have to see how it fits. Very nice. And here's the full collection. Tell me that's not gorgeous. I absolutely adore these colors, guys. It looks very regal to me. I love the combination of the gold and the blue. And of course, I love the clear glass as well. And look how these flowers coordinate with the leaves. I love the snowflake cabochon though, that is gorgeous. It actually has the same kind of AB finish as the flowers and the leaves. But anyway guys, Rachel and Sam really outdid themselves this time because look at this gorgeous collection and look how well everything coordinates. I'm so impressed. And I can't really choose a favorite because I love all of them, but I think these square beads are so unique looking. And so are these diamond beads with a combination of the crystal and the white silk colored glass. And I love these quartz points. Another thing that I like about Sam's bead box is that he always includes some botanical themed beads, such as the owls and the flowers and the leaves. The whole collection is absolutely gorgeous. Let me go ahead and put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Oh boy, I'm going to be having so much fun in the next few days playing with those beads. Wasn't that a gorgeous collection? I'm so impressed. I love the colors. I love the appetite. I really don't know which beads are my favorite. I actually love all of them. I guess if I had to pick, I would probably pick that beautiful cabochon, that etched cabochon. I thought that was gorgeous. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays to you. And if I don't see you anytime soon, have a happy new year as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.